Good morning, everyone. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. I believe we've had a wonderful time to rest, and we are ready for another day. Today, we'll be taking our scripture from the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Bible says, According as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Hallelujah. Well, I believe this is good news if we understand the scripture very much. It simply says that, um, contrary to what we have been thinking, that maybe it's a time for us to receive gifts and benefits as Christians. Uh, well, in a way, it's true, but it's simply telling us about the power that we need to live a godly life. It says that when we become children of God, He gives us the divine power that will help us to live a godly life. You know, by reason of what we know of him. Of, of course we know one of the challenges or the big challenge that we have in walking this walk of Christianity, you know, of sons of, of sonship is the challenge. You know, it's, it's the difficulty all to see every day. And we begin to wonder, why can't we walk right? <laughs> to walk right, you need divine power. To walk right, you need all things that pertain to life and godliness that will help you to live the godly life. That is what the scripture is saying here. So you're not going to begin to walk the way you used to walk. You're not going to begin to walk without help. But God will give you divine power that will help you to live a godly life. Without the divine power of God, you may not be able to live fully as a child of God. That's why he said in John chapter 1 verse 12, that they that receive him, he gives them the power to be called the sons of God. I am trusting God this morning that as you continue to worship the Almighty, the power to live right will come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. The help from above, the help of God to live a godly life, to be able to overcome even your own difficulties, we come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. So as a child of God, just relax. By your knowledge of him, trust him that the weaknesses you see in your life, the failures you see in your life, you know, the challenges you see in your life will gradually disappear as you know him the more and, and as he hands over the power for godly living unto you in the name of Jesus. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' mighty name.